Hi, this is Vic Tantry at Kanjo.com. Companies create new products every day, but how do they decide how much to sell a specific product for? In this video, I'll show you how to use a break-even analysis to help you make this decision. This spreadsheet was created by Dr. Vipper at Vertex42.com. Vertex42 is a wonderful online resource featuring dozens of different spreadsheets, many of which are available for free, and some of which are available for a paid download. I highly recommend you check them out. Let's get started with this break-even unit spreadsheet. This specific spreadsheet will tell you the number of units you need to sell to break even given a specific selling price that we're going to input in cell E5. So let's say that Kanjo Manufacturing has designed a new line of shoes and they're going to be selling these shoes at $100 a piece. So they're trying to figure out how many shoes they need to sell in order to break even given certain costs. That's going to be the next set of inputs over here. First of all, we have our fixed costs. Uh, we spent about $10,000 upfront in advertising, $2,000 in accounting and legal. And if we scroll down a little bit here, we also spend $50,000 on manufacturing. So we can see in cell F22 that our total fixed costs are $62,000. Scroll down a little more to our variable costs. So there are a couple of different variable costs here. First of all is the cost of goods sold per unit. Each unit costs $10 to manufacture and we're also going to have direct labor costs of $5 per unit. Additionally, we're going to have to pay 40% in commissions to the retail per unit sold. So given those assumptions, we're going to have a total variable cost per unit of $55. That gives us a contribution margin per unit of $45. So let's scroll down a little bit more. And we can see here in cell F40 that our break-even point is 1,378 units with a total sales of $137,000 um, approximately. Now, we can even take this analysis a step further. We can establish a targeted net income. How much do we want to uh, make in profit after we break even? So let's say, for example, we want to make $50,000. Well, that'll tell us that we need 2,489 units, as you can see in a cell F46. Um, so that's how much we're going to sell to achieve a $50,000 net income. And we can scroll down even more and see that our if we input a tax rate in here, we can figure out how much uh, net income we're going to make after taxes. So at a 25% tax rate, we get $37,500. Uh, $37, um, finally, if we scroll down even further, we can see that uh, we have a nice graph here that shows our total revenues in blue, total costs in red, and uh, our profit line in black over here. And we can see that our break-even point is right, uh, right where uh, between 1,000 and 1,500, and um, and the the profit uh, will break even um, at the, the profit is zero at the break even point. So uh, so that is a very nice illustration of um, figuring out how many units you need to sell given a specific price and given specific costs. Let's now move on to the second spreadsheet, which is the break even price. Scroll up a little bit here, and. In this particular spreadsheet, we're going to say given certain uh, certain sales, a certain number of units sold, we're going to figure out the price that we need to set it at in order to break even. So let's say, for example, that we're planning on selling 2,000 units. So once again, we have our fixed costs, $10,000 for advertising, uh, $2,000 for accounting and legal, and we have $50,000 for manufacturing, just like before. Scroll down again, and uh, we have to input our variable costs, same as before, $10, uh, $10 for cost of goods sold, $5 for direct labor, and 40% for commissions. So now we've made the same basic inputs as before. Here is where it gets interesting. We can see that the break-even price, given 2,000 units in sales, um, needs to be $76.67. So that's what we're going to sell this product at in order to break even at 2,000 total sales. Uh, we can scroll down a little more, and you can actually see that uh, we have the exact same uh, option here. We can have a targeted net income, and in that case, 
we'll have to set the price significantly higher. Uh, we'll have to set it at $118, um, given a $50,000 uh, goal for profit. And the uh, same thing here, we can input the tax rate, 25%, and you can see our net income after taxes. And once again, we can scroll down and see that we have the exact same graph over here uh, with the, the, the total revenues, total cost, and, and, a profit, um, and a profit line. Finally, let's move over to the third template here, which is the payback period. In this particular template, we input both the selling price and the number of units sold. And what we get is a number of months that it's going to take to get paid back. How long is it going to take for us to break even? So this will give us some sense of time horizon. Um, so for example, let's say that our selling price is going to be $100. And let's say that we sell, we're planning on selling, uh, let's say, 20 units per month. Well, how long is it going to take us to break even? So we can input some fixed costs here. We could say um, that... We're going to have about twelve thousand dollars in um, in or excuse me twelve thousand dollars in development and fifty thousand dollars in labor, giving us total startup cost of sixty two thousand. Scroll down a little more, and uh, you know we could also input some recurring costs here, uh, such as advertising and whatnot. Um, but we're we're just we're not going to worry about that for now. So let's say that our total fixed costs are $62,000. Now, if we scroll down further, we can input some of our variable costs. Now, we established these from before. $10 uh, cost of goods sold, $5 for direct labor, and 40% commissions. And finally, based on all of this, we scroll back up, and we can see that our payback period is going to be 68 0.89 months. So really, it's going to be 69 full months before we get paid back based on number of units sold at $20 a month. Now, if we adjust this uh, number of units sold, let's say, for example, we go up to 200 units a month. Well, all of a sudden, we're going to be paid back in about seven months. So you can see that the number of units that you sell in a given month is, is very strongly, uh, directly related, in fact, to how short your payback period is going to be. So that's about all for the break-even analysis. One last thing about the Vertex 42 spreadsheets um, in general is that they're all very printer-friendly. We click on the print preview here, you can see that everything's nicely condensed on one page. So in order to purchase this spreadsheet, um, I recommend you click on the link to the side of this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and for similar videos, I recommend you explore my website, www.canjo.com.